then so I got some makeup brushes that I would love to share with you and I've been trying these out for a couple weeks now. These are the Sedona Lace Brushes and I got the 12 piece synthetic professional makeup brushes with the brush cup holder and this is how it looks. Um, I love the brush cup holder because first of all it's a really nice material. It feels like pleather or something. It has the logo right here imprinted into it. It says Sedona Lace. And on the sides, it has little buttons that button down. So you can travel very easily with these um, and they'll be very secure. And then you take the top off like this and they are purple and black. They are more of a purpley fuchsia color and um, you really get two brush cup holders which is really neat because you can put your dirty brushes in one and then keep your clean brushes in the other that way you don't get confused and you know which brushes you need to clean. Me on the other hand I like to put my face brushes in one and then keep my eye brushes in the other. So in this set you get four face brushes and eight eye brushes. First of all, when you get this kit, it comes with a little information guide, which is really neat because it tells you what all the different types of brushes are for. And, um, sorry, Riley's making some silly noises. So first of all, um, I'll talk about the face brushes. The first thing that I do want to say about these is they are really really soft they are unlike any other brushes i've ever felt before they're just amazingly soft and on your face they feel amazing and these are synthetic so they're animal friendly there's no animal hair on these which i really like because with synthetic brushes you can use cream and liquid products with them as well as powder products and it's not gonna wear the brushes down. So this one is the 376 brush and this is just a powder brush. I like to use this for putting on translucent powder, for setting my makeup sometimes. I don't always set my makeup but that's what I like to use this brush for. I'll just dip some translucent powder onto here and I'll just set my face with it um, if I feel like my face is a little bit too oily for the day. This is a really nice size brush for that because you can get the job done really fast. The face brushes came with these because they are larger brushes so when you put them in like that it kind of maintains the shape and that's really nice also. The next brush I'm going to show you is the 813 brush and this is a duo fiber brush. I actually really really like to use this for my pigmented blushes, uh, my powdered blushes, because it's not very dense at all. In fact, it's kind of flimsy, and that's okay. I mean, it's still a good brush. It still works for other things. I like to use it for powder, br uh, powder blushes and just put it on my face because it gives me a lighter hand using this rather than using um, a blush brush that's more dense and putting on a lot of blush on my face. So I like using this. It puts a very light amount of blush, which I really like. I don't like wearing too much blush. So this is great for that. You can use this for with cream blushes and liquid blushes as well. Okay, Riley wanted to be in the review with me. <laughs> Here you go. What's on your face? What's on your face? Here. Oh no. She spit up a little bit. This is gonna have to get cut out, huh, Riley? Huh, baby girl? She's just gonna sit here and chew on her teething toy. Because her teeth hurt. Um, her two bottom teeth are coming in, by the way. So the next brush I'm gonna talk about is the 727. And this is a foundation brush. Um, it's just a simple paddle brush. I honestly don't really like paddle brushes. I like using stippling brushes for my powder or my liquid foundation. So um, I do, I, I'm not really a fan of um, paddle brushes for my foundation, but for those of you who do like using these for their foundation, this is amazing for applying cream 
and liquid foundation. I do have to say though, using these does give you a pretty even application. Just like the rest of these brushes, this is really soft and I've never felt a paddle brush that was this soft before. The last face brush that I have here is the 850 and this is an angled contouring brush. This is similar to the MAC 168 angled brush. This is basically just to contour your cheeks right here. I like to use my 168 brush from MAC more than I like to use this. I do like this brush though. I prefer my MAC one over this though because this one is a little, it's really dense, which is a good thing. It's just a little skinnier than my MAC one. My MAC one's kind of a little fluffier probably because when I do contour my cheeks, I blend it out also so that the line's not too harsh. However, if you're into, you want your toy? Here you go, hold on to it. If you are into having a very very sharp edge a very sharp contour kind of like Kim Kardashian then I would recommend using this sometimes I actually use this after using my Mac 168 after I have blended out my bronzer I will go back in with this and just add a light line right here to make it have a little bit more depth okay so now on to the eye brushes the first eye brush I'm going to show you is the 561 and this is just a small angled brush. You can use this as an eyeliner brush or as a brow filling brush and it's small enough to do eyeliner. I personally really like to use angled brushes for my eyebrows just because I can get a precise angle right here and just fill it in. I don't use it all the time. I have quite a few of these kind of brushes here but this is definitely one of my favorites out of the eye brushes. This one is the 941 and this is a large shader brush. It kind of looks like another um, a mini paddle brush. You can use this for packing on your eyeshadow and this is large enough to where you don't need to keep going back and forth. You can just put it all on at once and get it done faster. That's what that's good for. You can also use it to apply your um, highlight color under your brow bone and this is a perfect size for that in my opinion. You can just get it all at once in one swipe. I personally like this brush for my concealer. So I'll just dip it in my concealer and I'll apply it around my nose or wherever else I get redness on my face. And this works great for that. This is the 863 and this is a tapered blending brush. And this is a very similar to the MAC 217. And I like this for blending out my eyeshadows. I find that using my MAC 217 is actually a lot easier to blend out colors than this is. I personally like to use the MAC 217 to blend out my eyeshadows. This is still a really good brush, but I like to use it for applying a highlight sometimes I like to um, use a fluffier brush to apply my highlight rather than a flat brush. You can also use this to blend out your concealer anywhere and it actually gets rid of makeup lines which is really nice because I usually get makeup lines right here because I smile and laugh a lot so I get them right here and then when I'm not smiling or laughing you can definitely see them so this is great for blending out my concealer because I do put concealer right here because I get really red right here so I just blend it out and it's perfect for that also. This one is the 904 and the 904 is a pencil brush. This is one of my favorite brushes from here because you can use this for smudging out your eyeliner which I do all the time especially in the bottom right here so if you're doing a smoky eye this is great for that. I also really like this because you can use this as a lip brush and so you can just put some lipstick on your brush here or, and just put it on your lips and it's very very soft and applies very well. This is the 305 and this is just an eye shading brush. It's similar to the MAC 239. Um, the shape is pretty much the same and this is pretty dense. This is really good for packing on your eyeshadow, uh, on your eyelid. This is probably one of the most important brushes that you're going to need in your brush collection. This is good for just patting onto your eyelid. Yeah, you know how to do it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last one. This is the 772 and this is an eyeliner brush. I thought that I wasn't gonna like this one at all just because it's thicker than my Sigma eyeliner brush and um, I actually like it more. I have more control when applying my gel eyeliner and you can use this for liquid eyeliner as well but I'm not really a fan of liquid liner so I stick with gel eyeliner. So this is absolutely amazing. It's the perfect amount of thickness 
and um, it's just, it applies so smoothly and it's amazing. So that is everything I have to say about the Sedona Lace brushes. These are absolutely amazing. They're very, very soft. I would recommend getting something like this if you're looking into getting a brush kit because it has every type of brush that you're going to need. If you guys are interested in looking at their website, I will put the link down below and um, you guys can go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.